you know, we put in a, a game plan defensively that our guys executed about as well as you can, kept them out of transition. Uh, kept them under one point per possession. And it, it put us in a spot where you make a couple plays down the stretch and you walk away with a much needed win. Unfortunately, uh, there, there was a stretch where we had a, <coughs> a missed, uh, missed dunk. Then we missed two free throws. Uh, actually missed the dunk. We missed an open three, got the rebound, got it back, got fouled, missed two free throws. They come back down and hit a three, and it goes from six to nine like that. Again, those are the opportunities that seem to be eluding us right now. And 33% uh, isn't going to be good enough to beat Buffalo. Questions? How do you balance the fact that you, you, you play the defensively the way you want to, and you end up with the same result? How do you, are you, do you take things from this and, and feel positive about it, or is it because it's another loss? Or? It's a loud out. You know, it's, it's a loud out. That's what it is. And uh, you need to, at this point in time for us, we need to understand that we did make good contact with it, but it counts for another out. So we can't, uh, we're not about to start hopping around the locker room after a seven point loss. At the same time, you know, when, when losses are mounting up and you're close and you see how you could get there, it's important you don't go in the tank either. And uh, we'll have an opportunity on Tuesday to start putting some in the win column. It isn't, it isn't inconceivable we can go on a run here. We, we've got things that we can do. We've got things that we do well. Uh, nobody is. We, we did some things defensively tonight that, all right, we can build on that. And again, you know you still, you still got a group that thinks they can get that done when they go into a situation and implement a game plan and listen so well. Uh, uh, this is the type of group you've been walking all year trying to cultivate uh, Tavion's playmaking ability and uh, eliminating some of the mistakes or smoothing out the rough spots. I thought we got a full sample size of that tonight. But anyway, with, oh, yeah. With his ability to keep a team in the game and, and his ability to maybe boil a little hot at times. Ride the lightning, baby. Ride the lightning. Someday he'll be a sophomore. Wouldn't trade him. But it, it is... Uh, well, it's, the, 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 kid, the kid... Kid scored... 18 tonight against two pretty good defensive guards. One that I think is probably the best defensive guard in the league and Carruthers. Uh, so it's not like he was doing it against nobody. He's a competitor. He's tough. Go ahead. You're gonna, I didn't mean I, to I was, was going to say, uh, <coughs> he does all these good things and then he'll have a you know, fouling when you're, you've already reached the limit or maybe a force in the paint when the kickouts open, those kinds of things. How do you, how do you bridge that gap? Is it just repetition? Yeah, is it just it's absolutely experience? repetition. And I'd love to, yeah, showing him on tape and having a better understanding of what it is we want. He's never been in a situation there where we fouled to get it up to the bonus threshold. And uh, anybody else want to take a bet that when I said play it straight up, he was saying something? <laughs> just, just saying. Uh, Again, that, that spirit that he has, I don't want to take that from him. Uh, but it isn't, it isn't, it's, it's more on display because of how he is personality-wise, when in truth, he's a young point guard trying to carry a very heavy load. And We'll have failed if we don't get them better at that as time goes along. I wish it was today. It's not today yet. I know this, without him, we're not, we're not where we were offensively late in the half. You guys have been really good all year at locking up the defensive glass. That was a major issue tonight. Is that more of a credit to uh, Buffalo's personnel, or, or did you guys miss some things that you typically take care of? Combo. 
combo. Uh, we actually got much better at it in the second half. Much better. Ten in the first half. Yeah, they had ten in the first half. We had a couple where guys maybe thought it was secure. They, they got a lot of them. They got a lot of them where it looked like we had the ball and we couldn't finish it off, where there's hands around, where there's – and the ones that end up kind of rolling around on the ground and, and they end up with – got to be stronger with the ball. Had a few that – two on one possession, I know, where we missed two box outs directly from guards. And we got to shore that up as well. Uh, but that, that could have been a much larger discrepancy if we wouldn't have gotten 12 of them. And that was a lot of battle on our guys. How confident are you in, in TK's ability to, to bounce back after a situation where you know he, he misreads the foul count situation or just any time he, he takes a fall? TK's got enough confidence he's not going to need counseling anytime soon. I can promise you that. Uh, his unbridled belief in himself is an asset. And it can also be something we have to manage sometime. And choosing between a guy that is like that or a guy that I have to try to get to believe in himself, it's a lot easier for the, to go with the trying to take it down on a couple of notches. But no, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. He's not going to get an ulcer any time in his life. He is a warrior. All he wants to do is get back out there and get a play. The second chance points for uh, Buffalo were big night and it kind of goes into the uh, offensive rebounding too, but it didn't look like there was necessarily a lack of effort from your guys. I mean, I counted eight times that Gavin hit the floor and other people were kind of flying around. So how do you how do you balance sort of reading into that of their second chance points versus effort, I guess, from your guys? Uh, well, first of all, some of it's personnel based. I mean, it doesn't take a real stretch to see that they've got a huge advantage in, in size and athleticism with the way we're currently configured. Uh, but also, you're always looking for ways, okay, how can we avoid that? How can we? And I think guards helping on the inside a little bit more readily, uh, helping get that ball out of there, uh, making sure that, particularly on threes, it seems like we, we are always absolutely diligent about finish out, fishing, finishing out the boxes on the perimeter, which against a lot of teams doesn't matter, but these Buffalo guards just keep coming at you, keep coming at you, and you gotta make sure you get a body on them. So, yeah, I, I I would really love to spend a day working on nothing but rebounding. It isn't realistic what we have right now. We're, we're, we need to do it by seeing, unfortunately. And that's, that's with a lot of our elves, that's the way it is. I mean, you're, you're at practice. You see <coughs> the bodies we have and the limited time that we're able to be on the court expecting to get a team out of the court. So we have to do it in other ways. We have to do it more mentally. Uh, but we'll work at it some. And uh, yeah, I, to me, the rebounds flared a little bit out of control in the first half. But we were able to navigate that because we didn't give up fast break points. So those are two big ways that they score. We took away one of them and we were able to take away both. Coach, what can you say about from season start to, to this point about TK's maturation process, whether it's you know his, his mental process, reading the game or bouncing back from, from whatever might come his way? Oh, he's creeping forward. I mean, he's not there yet. Right. There's, it's a process. But he, boy, he tries and he listens. And uh, sometimes he fights himself a little bit. Sometimes the devil on this shoulder talks a little bit louder than the angel on this shoulder, right? And uh, he's a pleasure to go to work with every day. And his zest for living, so eloquently put by Judge Smales and Caddyshack, is. Uh, it's infectious. We, we mentioned Gavin um, hitting the floor. Nothing new, but I mean, he takes so much pounding. I mean, do you ever go up to ask him, like, hey, dude, are you okay? No. <laughs>
He's okay. He's tough. But yeah, he's he's a, at times he resembles the punch drug forty year old fighter in the movie that has maybe gone one too many boxing matches, but it, it, with with what he's dealing with physically right now, to never ever hesitate to step in there and take a charge. He, if whatever he wants to do, coaching or it doesn't work out, he's got a great career ahead of him as a crash test dummy. There's no question about it. Coach, you start the game, I mean, you starts the game for 72, he has one of the nine from the field, and then you're able to compete with him how you did. Do you feel that your offense almost matured in that sense and that you had? It certainly got better in the second. We got more aggressive. We, I thought we came up timid. I didn't think we cut hard enough. Uh, you know, if, if you get if you get a if you get a if you get a jump shot blocked out of your hand, it's probably not the right shot to take, right? Uh, but we learned and, and we got better. The problem is, you know, if, if we could have we could have done a little more offensively in the first half, and you're a little closer to the lead, a couple of those runs put us over the top, but. It's. Is it one of the positive results tonight? Oh, there's always plenty of positives and plenty of negatives, and it's it's easy to focus on just the scoreboard, and it's natural to focus just on the scoreboard. But in wins, losses, everything in between, what I'm looking for is progress, and certainly some progress was made tonight. I, again, I. I don't. I don't want to be part of a program that two and six is okay. I don't. I'm, I'm not going to be. Uh, but we take care of a few things a little bit better, and we just knocked off a team that hasn't had anybody come within ten points of them.